Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the show. We're here at San Juan Capistrano and Adventure Band Expo. This is the first show of the season. So let's go talk to Neil and see what they got. Hey, I'm here with Neil from Adventure Band Expo. Neil, tell us what's new this year. Hey there. Well, we have 10 shows on tap around the country and today we're at San Juan Capistrano for our kickoff and we finish up the end of the year back down here at Big Bear in October. We've got a couple of new places that we're going like Evergreen, Colorado. We're going to be 30 minutes outside of Denver. We're going to be in the Palisades at Tahoe, which is the biggest ski area in, in all of Lake Tahoe. We'll be at Chattanooga again. What's a little bit different this time is the amount of vendors that we have. We're seeing uh, like a 25% increase. We've got 100 20 companies here on display coming from as far away as Portland, Colorado, and New Hampshire exploration vans. Wow, that's a long way. Yeah. Awesome. Well, sounds like a fun show. Let's go check it out. I'm here with Henry from JMG Systems, and we absolutely love these seats. I have them in my personal van, and we put them in a bunch of our customers' vans. Henry, tell us about your shop. How's it going, everybody? Henry from JMG Systems. Uh, we are an engineering consulting firm. We specialize in developing, manufacturing, and testing seating solutions. So we'll captain chairs to modular seating solutions, much like what you guys at ABC use. Basically, we design everything from the mounting systems that go into a bare bones cargo van. We start off with a mounting plate. We have support brackets that go underneath the van. Once that mounting plate's installed, you can then install uh, either a modular seating solution or a swivel seating solution like what you see here. Like Matt said, we love working with outfitters. We love working with DIY folks, just finding creative solutions to everyone's seating challenges and needs. If you need any help with your seating solutions, please give us a call or look us up on jngsys.com and we're more than happy to help you out. All right. Thanks Thank very much, Henry. We love the safe seating solutions you guys provide to our community. Thank you. Thanks. I'm here with Adrian from SolarCraft, and SolarCraft is our Victron Energy supplier, but Adrian has a brand new product to show us. Adrian, take it away. Awesome. These guys, this is the Land Shark backplane system we have right here. This is a plug and play system that's designed to be paired with a Multi Plus 2 and a lithium 200 amp hour Victron Smart lithium battery. And with this system, everything over it will mount over the wheel well. It doesn't take any space over it. It has your DC to DC charging, has your solar charging, comes with a smart BMS as well as a uh, smart shunt and it's all paired together with a servo and a seven inch touchscreen. With this system, you can monitor your tank, you can monitor all of your charging remotely through via Bluetooth or even Wi-Fi. You can pair just about everything in your vehicle to this system. We even have thermostats and temperatures in the sense of a Ruby cube that you can set up. And with these, you can have this set up to turn your uh, air on or off, your heat as well. It's ready to install in about an hour and a half. Once it's mounted and everything's installed, you just send the wires to your battery, to your inverter and to your solar and also your alternator as well. And uh, what typically takes a few days to do will simply be done in a few hours. Thanks to Adrian and SolarCraft for building an excellent DIY system that's gonna give you a jump start on your build. Hey, I'm Matt from AVC. Peter Concer from Mountain View Adventure Vehicles. Peter, cool. What was the name of your company again? Mountain View Adventure Vehicles. Mountain View Adventure Vehicles. All right. Tell me, where are you guys from? Tucson, Arizona. Okay. We've been based there for the past five years. Awesome. And uh, we've been mainly building out sprinter vans. We do adventure trucks as well. We've built trailers, transits, really the whole nine yards. Whatever is needed in the adventure vehicle community, we can do. Very cool. Awesome. How's the market in Arizona? Market in Arizona is uh, good. We're really the only people in Tucson okay. doing anything. And then Phoenix, we got a couple builders. We're really friends. We're not competition. Sure. We love everybody and all the builds and we kind of all have our own build and so everybody just loves what each other we do. That's great. Well, why don't you tell about this vehicle here? Yeah, so this is our 144 and this is our standard layout. We design all of our vans around just two people okay. unless it's necessary for other people to have more. What's really special about all of our builds is our power systems. Okay. We have split unit air conditioning systems, which are only van manufacturer that we know that has them in there. Our 144s get 9,000 BTU of air conditioning cool. and then mm -hmm. they're also heat pumps. So you get about 10 to 12,000 BTUs of heating and then in our 170 models we have 12,000 BTUs of cooling and then up to about 14,000 BTUs of heating. That's pretty nice. It's probably pretty important down there in Arizona. Yes, air conditioning was the main key feature for us uh -huh. and being able to run it all day and all night was the big important piece. So that's why we went with the split units. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Can we uh, take a look inside the build? Yeah, sounds good. In all of our vans we use Paneltronics. Um, everything just goes through there. Super nice and simple to have all of your electronics in a, like, a readily available place. Shows everything that's running Running, has all your meters, you can turn things off to isolate things and then save conserve power. So we have an, all that out standard in all of our builds. Moving back, we try to use uh, Vitrofigo refrigerators or the National Luna refrigerators. We find that they're beautiful, elegant, but also very 
electrical friendly. All of our builds have split unit air conditioning systems in them. They're the most efficient compared to rooftop units. They're also heat pumps. Right now we're only drawing about five to 10 amps and that's running half fan, full solar out right now. We're gonna be charging the battery faster than we're using the battery with this. And it's nice and cool in here. This fan has a toilet right here Shower is going to be out the rear. Um, we try to keep the shower outside the vans as much as possible just to keep that open feeling. A lot of people do want the showers on the inside, so we will put those on the inside. We like counter space, so we add as much of it as possible. It keeps everything as open as possible. As for cabinets, we try to make them complex. You have a lot of usability within the cabinets from having little tiny racks on the inside for your silverware. In all of our builds, our beds fold up at a 90 degree angle and then they latch so that you can put bikes, paddle boards, anything the aisle way that you would need. And then it also keeps the bed fully made so when you're putting up and down, you don't have to remake your bed when you get to your destination. We're here with Johnson Custom Van Solutions and I'm Matt, what was your name? EJ, EJ. pleasure Matt. All right, EJ, why don't you tell us about your shop? I'm a pretty private shop out in the hills of Hamul on three acres, so if you look in here, it's all Plyboo, Rich Light, Wilson Art laminates. Uh, what kind of vehicles do you like to build on? Predominantly the Sprinter. Okay. I've done three transits, even the little low roof 130 shorty. The little tiny guys? pop top. Uh-huh, that's cool. That was, that, was, that was a challenge for sure. I'll bet, yeah, it's a little yeah. van, it's tough to pack it in. Especially when people want all the same stuff. <laughs> no compromise. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's right. What yeah, we got this today? is a 144, uh, four by 2022. It's one of the last six cylinders in the four wheel drive. It's made for two people. There's a bike garage in the back. We have radiant floor heating from Rickson. That's a three stage system from the powered by S Park. Typical diesel heater, but super efficient on demand hot water. So even firing that, that S Par up within one minute, you're having scalding hot water. What's cool is we do feed uh, the client requested a trail fire grill and they're right here. So that's a propane powered fire pit, grill, wok, and pizza oven. So we have a typical lagoon mount table. This is fabricated in our shop with half inch ply boo on the bottom and quarter inch rich light. Then the countertop solid surface is also custom laminated rich light. Flush mounted induction cooktop. We always take pride in giving our folks a little cutting board for to hide that sink, especially when you have dirty dishes, right? Filtered water. All of our uppers are all finished on the inside. This is a proprietary material that's very cleanable, even with lacquer thinner. So we got a dry flush toilet right here, which was tough to engineer to get in there. Mm, most, pop, most popular toilet on the market right now. Yeah. No smell, you get about 18 flushes per cartridge. Mm -hmm. We have a pass through to the bike garage, which isn't finished yet. We got flare space. We have some European windows with bug screens and shades. Big thanks to EJ for showing us his van. You can find them at johnsoncustomvansolutions.com. Thanks very much. And Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, tight, we'll see you there. Hey, I'm here with Tony from CA Tuned Off-Road. Tony, tell me what you guys have this show. Hey guys, so uh, like you said, my name is Tony. I work here at CA Tuned Off-Road. We specialize in these winch mount bumpers here. We do have them for the transit. I know you guys said that you guys do some transit stuff. Do the winch mounts. The transit actually doesn't have any uh, tow hooks on it. So that's a one big benefit of the bumper. If you get stuck and you didn't want to do the winch, you'll still have that functionality of the tow hook. We have the Smittybilt 10, 12,000 pound wireless winch here. Uh -huh. I know a lot of people run in the warrants as well. But yeah, that's about it. We're coming out for the transits. I know we want to do the skid plate uh, and some other stuff here and there. Hood struts, we're, we're still working on. We might do an air compressor, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the works. But yeah, we got sprinter stuff as well. We got horn kits, hood struts, license plate mounts. We got the skid plate for the new 2023 all-wheel drive sprinters, tire carrier for the sprinters. We got a lot of awesome stuff going on here. It's mostly an off-road focused business. So yeah, that's about it. Awesome, that's awesome, Tony. Thanks very much. Yeah, no problem. We're here in the Campo Vans booth and I'm super excited to finally meet these guys in person. Tell us about your shop. Yeah, so um, we're Campo Vans in Santa Barbara, California. Um, we we do all custom van conversions, so all the interiors are us. So we do all the cabinets in-house, all the upholstery, the flooring, everything like that. And then of course we do all the great bolt-on mods on the outside, so wheels, tires, steps, all that kind of stuff, all the customer spec. 
Cool. So, yeah. yeah. What kind of vans do you build? We'll do anything, really. If you pulled an Econoline in and you had the budget and wanted the build, we would do it for you. Okay. Primarily, you're going to see us pumping out Sprinters just because that's what people ask for. Awesome. And you're yeah. in Santa Barbara? We're in Santa Barbara. Pretty yeah. nice place to be. It's lovely. Yeah, we're right downtown, so come visit, grab a coffee. Can we take a look at your van? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so right now we're in one of our most recent builds. This has become kind of a standard layout for us. Uh, we are a custom builder, but what happens is clients come in and they see what we've already done. They really like it. They do a couple tweaks and that's their van. So up front, we've got a dinette set up. So we've got the lagoon table, a little two-seater bench with a cassette toilet housed inside. We've got two swivel seats. So it's a great place for four. Always nice to be able to have guests in your van, nice hang spot. Up here, we've got nice overhead storage in here and then overhead cab housing our microwave and our electrical controls. For power on this thing, we're running Battleborn batteries, running 400 amp hours, Victron equipment on there. We've got an off-grid AC up top, nomadic cooling. So it's really, really stout electrical setup. Galley here, tons of drawer storage as always, a nice deep sink. Move the faucet around here. You can even use it outside if you want. So love those little features. And this is set up to run a induction cooktop here. So we've got an outlet here. And then of course for a fridge, you've got the Cruise 130, beautiful stainless steel fridge, slot wall. We love doing this because it's super modular. You know, we've got like our paper towel holder here for spices and stuff. Nalgene fits in there because all the guys at the shop have Nalgenes. And then back here, uh, we've got our Murphy bed. But before that, we have a little bench set up right in here. This was some space that wasn't getting used, so figured we'd make it a little hang spot. So that's pretty sweet. So I'll just drop the bed for you guys. We always love doing the Murphy bed style, just cause it's so quick. There you go. So you're all set up, ready to go. All the pillows will be housed in the flare and yeah, it's bedtime. So that's the rig. So one last thing before we left the Campo booth, Isaiah, you got to show me this chair. Yes. Okay. So these chairs, we, to be honest, this is a, this is a design that's existed for a long time. We didn't create the design. However, we did make it work for our setup. So all this stuff, you'll notice all the crazy colors. These are actually made out of scrap from all our builds. So we have a CNC in the shop and that means that you get tons of long strips that are left over. So if you'll notice all these pieces are like inch and a half wide, whatever. And then we use extra wall fabric for the backs. So they just go in like that, super comfy chair, or if you're traveling, they stow really nice. And that's the key right there. And they're light, exactly. Yes, Perfect. we love them. Excellent, I love, it's a, such a smart use of extra material. Yeah. And it's an awesome chair. All right. Thank you. Thanks very much, Isaiah. Cheers. All right. I'm here with Sam from Dead Man Off-Road. And Sam, what do you have that's gonna work well for a van owner? So we specialize in American-made recovery products. Sweet. And we find that with a lot of the folks here at a van show, we have a lot of people that are just starting out with their recovery gear. They don't really, they haven't amassed very much. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we really focus on here at this particular show is this box right here that's just kind of down here in front of us. And this is just a, a, a pre-done kit for a new off-roader, right? Ooh, so it sweet. has, you know, a winch line extension. It has a kinetic rope. It has multiple soft shackles. Uh, we even have what's called a rope retention pulley. That's kind of like a snatch block. Okay. Pretty uh, nerdy thing. We, we really geek out on recovery. So we're all about like, uh, you know, the, the physics of it and yep. redirecting and things like that. We're, we're big on that. So a um, lot of different things in one kit. The idea that this box can then just go into the back of a van and be ready to go. Weatherproof for the most part, right? But you sure. want your recovery gear to be a lot like your first aid kit or your fire extinguisher. You don't want to have to empty the contents of the vehicle to get to that stuff, mm -hmm. right? So easy access for that. Everything throws in there. At the end of a recovery, chances are it's filthy. Yeah. So we just want you to have a nice, a, a van owner to have that a nice place really to smart. kind of get it out of the way. And then, um, you know, we have lots of other recovery gear though. I mean, we're kind of surrounded by like, uh, we have kinetic ropes here behind you. Yep. Those are for that, that transfer of energy from vehicle A to vehicle B. It's a very popular form of recovery right now. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not something that requires a winch. So I think that actually appeals to a lot of new van owners because a winch is not needed for a vehicle to vehicle recovery. So two soft shackles and the kinetic rope is a good starter kit. We have a body bag. We went all in on the marketing dead man. This is the body okay. bag. The kinetic rope can fit in a body bag with two soft shackles. And then that's a great starter kit. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Yeah. Also very uh, weather resistant here. Again, ideally on the outside of the vehicle or at least easy to get. To. Yeah, that makes so, sense. Okay. Yeah. So that's really good for like vehicle to vehicle recovery. What mm -hmm. if you have to do self recovery? So self recovery, let's say, you know, you're out in the desert or something like uh -huh. that, and you don't have a big rock and you don't have, you know, a, a cactus that's big enough <laughs> to support the weight of the vehicle. Uh -huh. You need to get yourself unstuck. That's a big thing. We even have it on the t-shirt there. Go and stuck yourself, right? So <laughs> our signature product is the Dead Man Earth Anchor. And that's the thing right down here. Okay. 
and it's something that you can actually use to recover yourself with. It gives you an anchor point in the sand if you need it to. It could also be in the snow or the mud. Okay. But the idea is you dig a hole about knee deep, maybe 18 inches, uh -huh. lay this flat in the hole, backfill that. It's not the weight of what's on top of it. It's the fact that you're trying to move that amount of sand or snow towards you. Okay. You're trying to drag it towards your vehicle. It's going to hit the front wall of that hole, create the resistance you need to get up out of whatever you're in. We've measured up to 8,000 pounds of resistance with this using a load cell in line with the winch so not cool. just ballparking it mm -hmm. legitimate numbers. April numbers the guy that designed this is an aerospace engineer mm -hmm. and so he's uh, all about geeking out on some of the testing that goes into this stuff and he's constantly redesigning it this is our newer second iteration of this design okay. it looks more like a medical mask now it used to have two <laughs> straps right so there'd be like two hands and two feet and okay. you had to bring them together just right yeah but now it's self-leveling so if i use this and then the other end bring it together with one soft shackle it will then self-center and level where it needs to be yeah. when it's under load so rolls up nice and small into the body bag again that we already showed you there okay. that black bag and it's only eight pounds when it's all rolled up ready to go nice, so that's great a lightweight durable tool that has tons of different uses perfect well thanks sam i yeah. think this is a pretty cool product you guys make sure. and i think thanks, it's man. going to give us the confidence to go explore the beach we went to oregon last year and i right didn't really want to risk it with our new show vehicle but i think if we had okay. something like this yeah. we'd have that confidence thanks sam thank you all right we're here with chris from bossy vans and chris tell us what you guys got today so today we got a semi-custom van this is my personal van and we got full custom van so that's what we offer we also offer we're rolling out a couple of products which we'll show you in a little bit so let's go take a look this is actually a 144 standard roof semi-custom build so something like this is going to be very cost efficient we can get it out in about a month, so let's go check it out. All right, so something like this is our semi-custom cost-efficient van. The reason why I say that is because we run goal zeros in this. We do lost highway components where it's very modular. We can get something like this done in about a month, maybe two months, depending on what you want. We can always add stuff later. Um, obviously, it's going to possibly affect the price a little bit, but you check it out. It's super simple, very modular. We can take it in and out, and it's just functional for like the everyday driver. So what is your use case for this van? Kind so of this is actually my everyday driver. So um, I'm also a real estate agent, so I drive this every day. That's why I went the standard roof 144, so I can drive in places, get in there no problem. I, I opted for, you know, going with the dinette area in the back here with the Lost Highway components just because, you know, I'm on the road a lot and, you know, sometimes I want to stop the beach, you know, maybe uh, do some work in the back on my computer. So then it also doubles as a bed. Take the tables out, makes it into a bed, put the cushions in, good to go. So weekender, um, no hot water on this one, but I mean, it's perfect for any everyday use. It's simple, yes. it's simple and, uh -huh. and it just works. It's functional. Rear spray down. You said goal zero power. Yeah, goal zero power. You got like a little entertainment. Got happening. a little entertainment in, the in there too. so I got, I got a little TV so sometimes I hop on people's Wi-Fi <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> which is always nice uh -huh. uh, I got a little fan so no AC in this one since yep. we're running the goal zero but yep. you know everything works it's functional and it, it's it's an everyday that works for me so if you're looking into something where you're not too sure and you're not gonna live in it full time something like this is gonna be your go-to where it just works you're gonna do a weekend during it maybe you can do a, you know a few camping trips uh, where your battery life is perfectly fine you can run off your DC to DC charging and also solar charging and you'll have no issues whatsoever yeah totally yeah Awesome. It's a good looking van. Well, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks very much, Chris. Yeah. All right. So this van you're looking at is kind of our bread and butter. This is a full custom 170 4x4. So this is a 2022 4x4 170. Something like this is full custom. The uh, reason why I say full custom is because this has the top of the line, everything. We do full custom cabinetry, everything CNC cut, assemble everything. We do full showers. We've got a two-in-one heating diesel uh, Timberline Elwell system. We've got AC in here and we've got a custom bed. So if you go check this out, my dad's 6'2". You come lay on it and you can fit about you know three people in here maybe four this way so no issue this is going to be the biggest bed you'll ever see in any sprinter and uh, we love it chris excellent vans thank you very much for showing us around thank you if you want to see more from these guys check them out bossyvans.com all right guys take care have a good one and we're here with Gone Mobile Vans, and they are a fellow transit outfitter. So tell us about your shop and what you guys do. Right on. My name is Brendan. I'm with Gone Mobile Vans. We're here in uh, our neck of the woods. Costa Mesa, California is our shop, so we're really close. This is our one of our standard builds on the 148 High Roof Transit. We love working on this platform. We think it's the best one out there actually really like it like how they drive like how they handle like the headroom like the gas engine things like that we're a pretty big fan of aluminum cabinetry and components we try to keep our builds as lightweight as possible flexible for being able to be put bikes in here put kayaks whatever you like simple clean and capable vans and uh, we're pretty happy with how they come out and we're stoked to be here at the adventure van expo why don't you tell us about like so, like a very like special feature of your van so um our ceilings are are very unique in the industry i suppose so it's a marine based padding that we put on the ceiling. We get to pick and choose the colors, top color, bottom color, and then we can CNC cut any pattern or 
profile or logo or whatever you like in the top there. It's cool to look at, but it's also adds some sound deadening and some additional thermal insulation as well. So it's kind of a neat thing. We can also do some highlights, inset pieces. Yeah, our, those are super cool. Our roof rack up on the front fairing has got a little stuff on there also. So we think that kind of helps stand out our vans a little bit. It's definitely an eye catcher that for the people are in here going, what is this? So yeah, they totally. think it's pretty cool. It is very cool, yeah. yeah. Thanks cool. very much. You got it, man. Awesome. Appreciate it. Well, that has been Adventure Van Expo San Juan Capistrano. I want to say a big thanks to everybody who took the time to show us their builds. A lot of amazing vans down here in Southern California. We're really excited to be here at the show. We can't wait for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.